I'm Tom Miget from Tom Miget Photography. Today I want to start a new series on flash photography, but before we start talking about flash settings and position of light, there is one crucial aspect of your camera you need to be aware of, and this is what we call the flash sync speed. You may remember one of the earliest episodes I have ever published was about the shutter and what I said back then was that your shutter was made of two blades, uh, pretty much like a pair of stage curtains, except that they are vertical. On the old film camera it used to be horizontal. So what you have is that you have a first curtain opening up, exposing your sensor or your film to the light and then you have a second curtain falling down, terminating that exposure. What's interesting is that as you increase that shutter speed, it becomes impossible for the camera to fully open the first curtain and then close the second one. So instead what you have is the first curtain opens and very soon after the second one follows and starts closing. So instead of having a full uh, window of light, what you have is just a slit of light but going throughout the whole height of your sensor or your film. So why is it important to know this when you do flash photography? Well, fairly simple. Imagine you have your first shutter speed opening up, your second one starts closing and it goes through like this and suddenly, boom, your flash burst. And this is what you get. Not so great. But please note if you try to achieve this uh, picture with your ca modern camera, it's more likely you will um, not succeed because all modern camera will override that shutter speed and won't let you take that shot. So, what is the flash sync speed? Well, it's the fastest shutter speed beyond which your second curtain will start closing although the first one hasn't fully opened yet. So, on most modern cameras, the, uh, the flash sync speed varies between 1 200th of a second and 250th of a second. On my Canon 60D, I can go at 250th of a second. Some uh, medium uh, format cameras, such as the Hasselblad, you can achieve, I think, something like 1 500th of a second. So this is it. This is just a crucial aspect of your uh, camera I wanted to cover before we start diving into flash settings and position of light. Well, until next time, this is Tommy Good saying, if you like it, well, capture it. And next time, we'll do it with a flash. Ciao.